Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this, what you're looking at on the screen, a slider that's connected to some buttons. So if we click on slide two, it goes to slide two. If we go to slide three, it goes to slide three. So I'm going to be doing this in the green shift page builder plugin. So you're going to have to have that installed. It's a hundred percent free. Uh, and obviously you need WordPress as well. That's my bag. So, uh, so yeah, so let's get started, shall we? Let's get over to our button slider. Uh, so this is a new page. Um, for you, it might be different. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a container, green shift container. Inside that container, we're going to put a slider and carousel. Cool. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to list view because this just makes it a little bit easier to, to see things. Okay, under that slider, I'm going to put in a row, green shift row with three columns, All right? It's for our buttons. And I'm going to go ahead and add that set of buttons. So slide one. And what I'll do is I'll go down and get this up to 100%, like so. Cool. Then I'm going to duplicate that and move it to my second column and rename that to slide two. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that one and move that to column three. I'm going to... Cool. <clears throat> Excellent. Now I'm going to go into the slider settings. I'm going to go down to spacing. I'm going to make the, the height 500, like so. Then what we're going to need is we're going to need some CSS classes. So um, <clears throat> I'll just go and copy and paste these where I've got. Righty. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, you're going to need uh, one particular class, CSS class, on the container wrapper. So we'll go into uh, Advanced tab. Go down to Advanced. And under additional CSS classes, we're going to pop in GS hyphen slider hyphen root. Okay, so it just basically tells the slider um, where the root classes are. Actually, I don't really understand why that is, but um, you just got to put it there. This is this is how I figured it out anyway. Um, okay, so now we're going to go and add some classes to the buttons. So I'm just going to go find these classes where I've got them over here. Radio, cool. So we're going to go over the advanced tab on the button, go down to um, additional classes. So this is for the first button. So we've got the first class here, which is the GS slider control. So that just tells um, the button that we're going to be controlling the slide with this. So. Um, and so that's the button uh, class, and then we got the GS slide two, and then obviously that tells where the button slides to which slide. Um, okay, so we're gonna just put this on to each one of our buttons. So, and we've just gotta change the, uh, the slide to the corresponding slide that we want it to slide to. Cool, and we'll just put three on that one. Awesome. Now I'm going to go and put some images into uh, my slide. So I'm going to go and add another slide. I'm going to choose our background image. Let's just choose that one. Then um, for slide two, I'm going to put that background. And for slide three, I'm going to go and put that background. Cool. Okay, so let's go and update this. We'll publish it in your case. I'm gonna go view the page. Radio, so there we go, we've got the slider. Um, now when we press these buttons, it goes to the corresponding slide. How cool is that? So not quite like our uh, demo here, um, but because I've got these different color uh, backgrounds in the buttons, so, um, and I've got a, a horror effect. So what I'll do with that though, is I'll make it a little bit of a slight difference. So I'll go to the 
back around here, I'll add a dark color and then on hover. Um, I'm going to want to, uh, yes, basically um, do that. Okay, so then for the second button, go to the background overlay and put that dark preset color on there and our blue. And go to the third button and go to the. Yeah, I could have actually done this another way. Um, because what I also need to do is I need to put a hover effect on this. So we do that by going into the slide advanced uh, CSS transform settings and on the hover. Uh, I'm going to put negative 10 on that. Uh, I'm going to put 0.3 for the ease and transition on that. So when it slides up, it makes it um, gets just a nice, nice transition there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go copy the style and I'm going to go and paste it on the second button and then on the third button. So that just makes the um, makes it a little bit easier. Now note uh, that when I've copied the style over here, it's also pasted the button, the class that we added in. So we need to go back down to advanced and we're going to change this now to two. Go back to advanced for the third button and go and change that to three. Let's update that now and go check out our demo and there we go, slide two, slide three. So these again are just clickable buttons that take you to the individual slide. Now of course you can keep the um, slide controller carousel um, uh, you know the little icons, uh, the arrows I should say, or you can go and turn them off. I'm going to turn them off just um, so that it matches my other demo. And there you have it. That's the video. That's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, so quite easy. I will. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, so it's just just a matter of putting those classes that you um, the GS hyphen slider hyphen root, and then the uh, classes on the buttons. So which you'll see down here. So and then obviously change the one to a two if it's button to um, and that's it so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and um, give it a thumbs up and press that like button if you enjoy it and share it around with all your friends and um, yeah and then I'll uh, yeah I'll be back with some more videos on green shift and how to do stuff so you can do stuff yourself it's a pretty awesome page builder so it's very cool. Alright, well thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.